What is going on everyone and today we are here for the week 7 from the beginning recap video. Uh, very interesting week of racing. Unfortunately I only got one race in this week as had some other stuff um, come up. So I wasn't able to get a second race done. Um, but we did have a very good race. There was one incident in the race that we wanted to talk about. Um, but we were able to put the car on the front row. Uh, had a very good start. Actually led into turn sort of the turn one turn two complex and was able to sort of hold position for a little bit and then the corner where the incident happened a couple of corners earlier i made a little mistake and the guy got past me um and it was just that corner seemed to be causing a lot of issues with just about everybody in the field from what i can see everybody was having a bit of a moment there so we're going to go through that incident in a second um and then we'll go through the results for the week and the standings and see where we're at the championship just one week before we get to the eight weeks and then we start to work on drop round week so um looking forward to breaking down that for you guys um so this week for our video i'm actually going to divert you to another video again um and this week we are always uh, we're talking about practice um and we've got a bit of a practice method that we've been working on for a little bit now just to sort of I guess you could say condense your time and actually be a little bit more effective with your practice and have a bit of a routine with it to, to pick things up quicker. So if you want to check that video out, that video will be just up here um, and hopefully you guys will get something out of it. Um, it's something that we've sort of been, I guess for a couple of years, sort of playing around with the, the style and the method of practice and how we actually sort of execute in a smaller period of time. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, we're sort of, our next goal is 1,000 subscribers, so we'd really like to get there as soon as possible. So if you haven't already and you enjoy our content, please make sure you click that subscribe button below. Uh, if not, guys, let's get into week seven's recap at from the beginning. All right, guys, so this is the incident that we were referring to in the intro. So as you can see, we come through this little section here, and this is the bit that sort of gets a little bit sketchy. And see how he's out of control, but it was only when I nicked him that he fully rotated. Okay guys, so as you can see from his on board, he's already nearly facing the curb by the time and the contact happens quite a bit after he's already sideways. So it was only when I actually saw his on board that I sort of realised that it probably wasn't as much my salt as I thought it was in the beginning. So it's very interesting to go and watch these replays back. Alright guys, so race one's done for the week. Um, very interesting that we were at the front of split two so i'm starting to wonder if certain times of the day we're going to get different things so we're about an hour later than we normally are for our morning race um and it's actually put us in split two at around that 1800 strength of field so uh car two obviously in the server um we qualified second had a pretty amazing start and actually got past the guy into turn one um then we lost it at the back section which you guys saw just drove in a little bit hot on cold tires and had a bit of a wiggle um and then obviously the contact with the leader when he was sort of we were both out of control into the corner from what i can see he jumped on the brakes as i was right up his ass and sort of just over rotated him but he was already three quarters of the way rotated from what it saw so um was unfortunate for that because i think we would have had a great battle right through to the end gained a massive 86 i rating so that's going to put us uh at 1998 so we are two i rating off that 2000 goal so unfortunately we were a week behind where we wanted to be um but obviously a couple of things didn't go our way in previous weeks which i think hindered us more than helped especially that power disconnect uh, at Oran Park two weeks ago. So pretty happy with that so far. Uh, massive championship haul for the week so far with 106 points. I'm... All right, guys. So now we're just checking out the standings for the season so far. So at the moment, we're currently looking at all divisions. So there has been nearly 28,000 drivers. So 27,857 drivers compete in a um, championship race. We're currently 51 in the world, so that's a pretty cool little standing to be in that nearly that top 50. We're just outside at the moment, so we'll keep plugging away at that for the next few weeks to see 
if we can get a little bit closer and actually crack that 50 bubble, but to be in that sort of high level out of that many drivers is pretty exciting. So pretty proud of what we've sort of accomplished so far this season. Um, but yeah, it's it's going quite well. So let's check out our division. So we are rookie. So there's been 12,524 drivers put a race together in the rookie series or in the rookie division. Um, we are currently P1 still, so two weeks in a row now we've taken the lead of the championship and we've extended that lead by a tiniest of margin. So we had a 17-point lead in last week's and we now have a 23-point lead. So only six points, but that six points is has helped us to just push that margin out a tiny little bit further. So very happy with that. Um, so yeah, so the top three is pretty close. 23 points to um, second, and then there's a further three points to third, but then there's a another 30 odd points to fourth place. So um, that's not too bad. So we can build from that. So we got one more week for, the, for it to count, and then we go into... Uh, Sort of week 9, 10, 11, and 12, I classify as drop round week. So what my goal is there is to try and score a little bit more points than I did in maybe my worst four weeks during the first eight to then try and bump my point score up for the average. So it all works off of the eight-week cycle. But what it'll do is if you score, say, next, uh, say week nine, I score 101 points and my lowest week was 79 points, it will wipe the 79 out and give me the 101 score. So that's how it'll work towards the end of the season with those last four races. So excited to start to see where that championship shapes because usually by about week 10, you sort of have a pretty clear idea where you're at. Um because by then most people have done eight weeks and sort of gone from there. You'll see that like the car in thirds had 124 race starts. Like that's going to average out his point score towards the back half of the season. Once we start to get into them drop rounds as well. So there's a few things there along the way that will, um, start to take effect as well. So it'll be very interesting to see how this shakes out over the next probably three weeks, and then we'll start to get a clear idea, and then we'll start to make our plans for the season one of 24 and understand where we're going from there for next season and what car you guys would like to see us run and start to build up even further. So thanks for tuning into this one. I hope this has helped you guys. Uh, I've really enjoyed making this content for you. It's actually been quite a lot of fun to take a step back into into a lower category of car that I haven't driven in a few years and actually just redevelop some skills as well because you do tend to forget how to drive certain things if you don't drive them for a long period of time. And because I've had so much time in GT cars, you kind of, um, with the ABS and the traction, it sort of does take away a little bit of that edginess in your driving over time. So it's been great to get back in these cars. So hope this helps you guys. Enjoy the week eight racing. Make sure you check out our track guide. That'll be out on Wednesday night for you guys. And till next time, we'll see you later.